welcome traveller and welcome to this seven session journey as I introduce you to the chakras. Chakra is a word that translated means something like wheel or vortex. It is a centre of energy. Chakras were first described by the yogic traditions of ancient India, as well as similar ideas in ancient Chinese and Buddhist cultures. But you'll also find tales of the chakras in myth, legend and magic lore from around the world. Many more modern Western magical traditions have adopted the chakra system and incorporated the idea of opening and closing chakras into ritual to help ground and centre and to protect against negative energy. You may well have seen chakras portrayed in beautiful colours and light and in the form of lotus flowers. As we journey through each chakra, I will introduce you to ideas of how to meditate and focus with the chakras. So I'm drawing in different ideas from different cultures. If you wish to journey back to yogic roots, there are many wonderful books with which to do so. And it is really just the beginning of a journey that can be a lifelong study. I'm just introducing you to a few ideas, a little overview of some practices, some exercises, some imagery and suggestions from varied cultures and ideas about the chakras. And we'll journey through what are considered to be the seven major chakras that dwell within the body as points of energy and points for our own focus and mindfulness. Some varied ideas about how they might be depicted in forms of flowers and colour and light. They run through the very centre line of the body using the spine as a major energy channel. So this line rises up from the very base of the spine all the way to the very top of the head. What yogis might call the Shashumna Nadi, which is a, a highway of energy that rises skywards. And to visualize this center line of energy, we also connect to the idea of the subtle body or the energy body, which is simply a suggestion that in addition to our physical body, our bones, our muscles, our lungs, our heart, that there is something else within us, an energy. In Chinese medicine, this is known as the qi. In yogic practices, it is prana. Maybe to us casual or lay meditators. It's just that sense that there's something else within us. Not just the blood and the bones and the joints. A little something else dwells within. And this is the idea of the chakras. These points of energy inspiration and focus that can bring us to ideas of healing, of empowerment, of inspiration. Points of focus that might help our meditation practice or to connect to areas that might need a little extra patience and love. And really journeying with each chakra with meditation is a chance to get to know each energy center from a place of feeling and intuition. This won't be a journey of lots of facts and figures. There's nothing that you need to remember, but simply enjoy the journey and maybe just bask in how each chakra focus, each chakra meditation helps you feel, helps you connect. So 
So we'll begin, as we will with each session, by finding our place for meditation. That might be laying down or seated, as long as you feel supported and safe and feel that you can be here for a few minutes with restfulness and ease. Perhaps close the eyes and take some easeful breath. from our restful place we will visualize at the very base of the spine the very center of the pelvis a glowing red light this is muladhara the root chakra the chakra of support the foundation connecting us to the element of earth. This chakra can provide us with a sense of stability, security, self-esteem, finding our foundation, connecting to our roots and drawing strength from this. As we settle here with this glowing red light, this gentle energy wheel, perhaps we envisage in our mind's eye a short mantra. My roots support me. I am grounded. I am safe. We'll take a quiet moment with those words, with this imagery of Muladhara, our root chakra. My roots support me. I am grounded. I am safe. My roots support me. I am grounded. I am safe. When you feel ready, perhaps a few deeper breaths. Take your time to move and stretch.
And when you are ready, you can gently open the eyes and I welcome you back from the short and sweet journey. I hope you enjoyed this first step on our chakra path. And perhaps when you next feel ungrounded or unrooted, take a little time just to close the eyes and focus on the root chakra. Using each chakra as a centre point, a point of focus for our meditation, can help us reconnect and find what we need. So thank you for joining me for today's Root Chakra journey. In our next session, the light and the energy will rise up to our lower belly as we meet the sacral chakra. I'll see you then. Thank you and namaste.